Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to The Wire Season 5, Episode 7, titled Took. Things are getting pretty hectic. McNulty's having to go to great lengths to try to get some funding, and we're getting into some sketchy territory now, and I really don't have a good feeling about it working out in the long run. And then we have Omar, even with one leg going full vigilante mode. It's kind of reminded me of the Joker. He's just putting warning shots on all these people, making sure they get the word to Marlo. You can tell he's trying to test Marlo to see if he's going to allow Omar to say these things. Omar wants him to face him man to man. So I'll be curious to see if he'll actually do that. And overall, I'm just super excited to continue this season. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking. Let's hop into the episode. Now they're online. Is this device the one we needed for pictures? This is masked as Marlowe's cell number. Phone company paperwork on the case has a cell we gave to Sidnor. Really basic shit. <laughs> this is real undercover stuff. Stick to the script. You're exposed here. What's the plan? <laughs> Templeton. Hey you, where'd you get off your sick little twist? <laughs> what? Biting's not sex, it's biting. I'm not sick like that. Whoa, hang on. This guy's gotta be so confused. Come you. He made up the story and now it's seemingly coming true. O okay, uh, hang on, who? Uh, wh where are you? <laughs> you like that? You mortify me like that? Here's what's happening. We ain't never gonna find them anymore. I'm sending you something right now. You take a good look at this guy. Cause you ain't never gonna see him no more. Oh my god. Don't hang up. This is cruel. Oh shit. Did you get McNulty? That's his voicemail. Oh Christ. <laughs> that was a. Uh, that was him. So he believes this is real now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyone on a phone? Not that I saw. Just some people moving through. <laughs> Get everybody up in this area now! Stop! Oh, God. Get their cell phone! Really messing with innocent people's days. Wow. Wow. This is messed up. Yep, just walk away. The goof actually called? Yeah, yeah, it was sweet. Hey, what did I miss? <laughs> He went off on a tangent. He said he wanted to bite me. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on a second. Holy Christ. Here's a picture. Wow. When you walk This is absolutely ridiculous. Never thought it would get this big. Convoluted. This is gonna be like national news now. Still have a bad feeling that, that this might like backfire somehow. They don't teach it in law school. Pearlman. If you want Billy Murphy on your case, you got to pay to put him there. A good five-figure case. But you asking for me to pay a winner's fee right up front? <laughs> 200000 Oh, wow. Get you out from under this mess. For all that profile? She. <laughs> you should be paying me a fee. Seriously, dog. He has a good way of spinning things. Motherfuckers gonna be wiping they ass with Johnny Cochran's memory and carrying your business card in every damn pocket before we done. <laughs> He's making a case. Why don't you save that silver tongue bullshit for the jury? Yeah, can't talk his way out of this one, I guess. Let's hear that motherfucker again. Where'd you get off, you sick little twist? Sounds like some gearhead from Dundalk. <laughs> Put on a good fake. Emotionally, how was he? Said I humiliated him by writing that the biting was sexual. At the end, he offered to come here and bite me. <laughs> Did he sound like the same guy? What do you mean? The same voice you heard in the first call. Oh, right. Yeah. No, actually. Yeah. I mean, I mean, okay. you know, this time I noticed he had a real thick Bowmore accent. You didn't notice that the first time, huh? I guess I did, but I forgot. Why not just say they sound the same if you want to keep your lies straight? You don't know where this guy is, huh? He could, could already be a victim, sure. Jesus. Isn't the people going to figure out who it was? People working at the shelter? And they're going to realize McNulty was there? You okay? Yeah, I, I guess. Don't worry, he's just using you. He needs you. Kind of resent that, actually. <laughs> it's really shook, man. Thanks for these. He's so suspicious. What the fuck? Okay. Go this! Gotta be Omar. Maddie! Oh. He out in the streets waiting. Say this whole damn city gonna know Marlo ain't mad enough to come down in the streets. Yep, he's spreading the word. He knew we was the stash. He need to be told shit. 
He knows everything. Dumped a lot of it. Flushed. Hey, yo, Cherry, you gonna untie me, right? Untie me. He's wrecking their financials and calling out Marlo. That's just great, really. Thanks for going the extra mile on this. Is he getting donations again or something? The Howard County has the right software and a couple of their computers. You need two? Um, yeah, in case one computer goes down, got the other one as backup. <laughs> Good hunting. Well, we got something. A couple of weeks before he starts gearing up to announce for governor, some wing nut starts killing people. You know something? You may want to check the governor's alibi. <laughs> There, there are a lot of people who want Tommy Carcetti to be their fucking governor. 92, Norman, in a single morning, it is a new record. <laughs> Fucker killing homeless guys? He grabbed one off the street, wrapped a ribbon on his wrist, sent a photo to the Baltimore Sun saying we won't find the body. You, what? <laughs> Gonna run the photos. Bill Rawls! <laughs> Get him on the line now! This is throwing a spanner in the works. And he was so happy. Let's go. Deputy wants as much of my squad as I can wrangle upstairs right now. We're going large Richard on McNulty serial killer. It's gotta be driving punk insane. I'm not going. What? You don't see those on my sleeve? Plain as fucking day, but I'm doing police work here. <laughs> so fuck your stripes and fuck McNulty. There we go. If you can't work with that, then just write me the fuck up and ship my ass to a trial board. Speaking his mind. We haven't done much with background work on victims and families. If you could take charge of that. This is getting so big. So many eyes on it. I don't know how this is not going to backfire on McNulty. And having had some experience in the politics of staffing, I leave it to McNulty to pick the people. Perfect. So let's surround this mess and report the hell out of it. This one's got legs. No, it doesn't. There'll be no overtime restrictions. No mm. staffing limits on this case. So put this case down. Finally got full range. What do you know? He knows everything. Probably need one more Rio. Red day on the corner, huh? Step off, nigga. <laughs> Certified hydrotherapist. Dental front desk. Man, you ain't even never been to no dentist. He's looking for a job. Exotic dancer downtown. Must be flexible in body and mind. <laughs> now we talk. Yep, that's a career choice you should do. <laughs> hey, make it rain on it. <laughs> Roll up. Uh oh, party killer. What the fuck did I do? If we don't know, then you do. This is bullshit. Time for an interview. And let me be unequivocal. This man will be brought to justice. Thank you. Now that it's threatening him, he means his words. You don't have time to be working backgrounds on the older cases. It goes to Greg and the fucking story. Now. It's gonna mess with his stuff. What else do you need? <laughs> you turn on the fucking tap, Jimmy. Finally paying for police work again. <laughs> and it's all in a fake story. How does it feel getting Greg's pulled off our trip? All of them chasing bullshit. We're gonna use the surveillance teams, actually. Well, They're gonna help us bring in the case, Bunk. Her triple is related to Marlo. In the paper, or where that motherfucker actually happens to be. <laughs> <laughs> where do I get kids' furniture? Ikea. Huh? That's where you get everything. <laughs> shame on you. I mean it. There is definitely some level of shame to this. Here's your Michael interview. Number one. Michael's not gonna talk though. Fuck! How the fuck do they expect me to get this shit done on my own? Broke ass department ain't even paying. <laughs> you okay? It's fucked up, okay? I can make a red go to black except for these cheap motherfuckers. Two more men do it. I got more bodies than I can use on my cereal thing. Let me make a call. Wow. I'll write up the hours under my file. He's spreading the love. Go with God. I feel like McNulty sees the passion in this guy. Respects. Can you make out who that is? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Not even blinking. I don't know if Michael ever actually saw the aftermath. Not that I blame you. After what this heinous motherfucker did to you. I mean, whoever did this had a real time. Now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it wasn't you. You don't have the physicality to do this kind of damage. I think he does. You see what I'm saying? You're the murder police. How the fuck would I know? You're not going to get anything from a man. I know to say they are Goddamn we never had anywhere near this much news on all the other cases we've done. We had him in that uh, rehabilitation. We get him out. He makes all kinds of promises, but you know. It's kind of messed up what the families have to go through. We know he'd probably die out there if the drugs get him. But this thing in the newspaper, the sex stuff, fighting or whatever. Yeah, this is messed up. Nobody deserves that. The little things McNulty didn't think about. He spends one night under the JFX and another half day quoting people in a homeless shelter. It ain't exactly studs turkle. He exaggerates everything. The quicker we bring this in, the safer we'll all be. I mean, Landsman wants me to go to fucking Quantico with the FBI to a profile. Yeah, 
This is getting ridiculous. Shit's bigger than I ever thought it would be. The whole fucking city. How is this gonna go quietly? I don't need an academy class to help with a canvas near this guy's corners. <laughs> yeah, just back the fuck off. <laughs> They're offering too much help. Making this thing into a red ball, people start to treat it like a fucking red ball. Jesus. Be careful what you wish for. This Lester, as fast as you can. This is wild. How can I plead to what I didn't do? <laughs> what are you reading there, Senator? Prometheus bound in the words of Asilius, no good deed goes unpunished. I feel like that's actually related to what's going on with, with McNulty. No good deed goes unpunished. It's foreshadow. You want bodies for that? If I need more bodies, I'll let you know. <laughs> Nothing better than Bunk mumbling under his breath. Anyway, I get a road card expenses, I can put it down. He's asking for help. Strangle the 20 year old, stuffed her under her bed. I'll bury the expenses in the OT of my father. Thanks, brother. McNulty's like the police Santa Claus now. On second thought, I'm gonna have Norris with me on that canvas today, boss. There you go. Always within a day of the initial deposit. Thank you, Detective Freeman. Is this the day Clay goes to prison? Did your honor. Or do they have something up their sleeve? Bub's serving food. Hey, you're not homeless? No, I'm down in my sister's uh, basement over in Everson Village. But he knows what it's like. You going by the story about what life's like, huh? Bub's can tell you what life's like. Here it is. We gonna get a picture? What the hell is that? It's a clock. I need it 5.50? Get up on yeah, it's got to be some sort of meeting time. Very interesting, but doesn't give us much. Is it fair to say that testifying against Senator Davis ensures that you will not yourself go to jail? Goddamn right. Mr. Price? He's proud of it. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Do you expect this jury to take the word of a twice convicted felon over the word of a duly elected member of the Maryland State Senate? Trying to mess with his character. I feel and leave me be. Seems like Davis got a good lawyer here. Might get out of this. Spot me and Garvey. Three nights. I can give you two nights. If he hits on the third. One night. Okay. <laughs> and you give those to It's me. cool. I know the drill. You do? You're doing good here, boss. What did you just call me? Oh, God. This is getting out of hand. Families of your victims debriefed in full. And believe me, it ruined my week. <laughs> I'm sitting there explaining to the salt of the fucking earth why he met his end being bit on and fucked with by some sick motherfucker who used him for jerk-off purposes. How does that make you feel, McNulty? He didn't want to think about that part of it. A little selfish. Thanks for bringing me here. Nah, no, not about that. Just about it like it feels. Bubs want to get the message. Bubs want to get... <laughs> wants to get the message out. I hate building furniture. <laughs> Here we go again. Ain't you to be with them Barstow boys? What they call you, yo? Savino. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Now you muscling for Marlo, huh? I wasn't there. So you innocent, huh? What you was gonna do if you was there, huh? <laughs> yep. You would have done it. <sighs> but what are you gonna do with him? You know what, yo? Oh! Dang. Didn't expect that. He wasn't killing a lot of the other ones. We gotta talk. Just a bunch of clocks going nowhere. It's definitely a code. We're gonna have to stay on these guys till those clocks start to make sense. So it's a code. Not as simple as a meeting time, huh? The office that I'm giving out hours of money to people who work other cases. I can't help it, Lester. It's kind of person I am. <laughs> it's gonna backfire. Well, you're gonna get shit on you, on us. Who's gonna complain? So what exactly do you need? Seven men. Mm. And cars. It's kind of a lot. Anyone in the districts we trust? Let me think on that. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> you got the right Allen wrench? <laughs> well, what kind of scotch are you using? Kima's losing her mind building that thing, huh? <laughs> oh! I know the feeling. He said, yeah, bitch, I got a record. I work so long, I'm about to put out an album. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Put that down, young Oh, my God. What does he want to do now? Who I am. Omar's so boss. 
you make sure you tell the boss man that you know who it is dropped Savino last night. You feel me? <laughs> you tell that man I'ma drop all his muscle so he get the heart to come down to the street and dance. You gonna moan that, sweet pea? <laughs> At least people have been telling Marlo. Shit, man. If you would've made me from Monk's apartment the other night, I might be laid out my own cell. Yeah. Can't be as a motherfucker. Knock the wind out of him. And at the end of the day, not one penny stayed with me. Some went to pay everyone's BGE, because half my district was going to have the heat turned off. He's got his story. Hell, that uh, TV show, what with the Survivor? Man, they want some good contestants. They need to come around West Side. <laughs> Hell, and Fear Factor? Don't even get me started. Gonna make the jury like him. You better believe my pockets are bulging. But by the time I get to Robert Street, objection. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clay's good with the people. I'll give him name. Senator Clay, I gots to bury my mother. <laughs> Buy a new shirt for a job interview. He's trying to make himself look like a saint. And excuse me if I didn't ask that old Arthur Itis woman for a receipt. Arthur Itis. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna do the same damn thing tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. After that and the day after that, until they got me laid out at March's funeral home and trucked me off to Mount Auburn. <laughs> Had this all thought out. If this goes on more than a month, with what we'll be spending, you're looking at cutbacks throughout the agencies, maybe even teacher layoffs come the end of the fiscal. McNulty single-handedly is going to ruin the Baltimore economy. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck Happy just Black. happened? <laughs> you got Clay Davis. <laughs> Master manipulator. And if he'll lie about a correction... Then will he lie to make a story better than it ought to be? Yep. I don't want to call another reporter a liar. I really don't. He's onto him. He's gonna blow it up. Uh, I tuck him in or something. I can't sleep. Let's say good night to everybody. Good night, moon. <laughs> good night, stars. Good night, stars. Oh god. Good night, popos. Good night, popos. <laughs> Good night, hoppers. Good night, hoppers. Good night, scammers. Good night, scammers. This is somewhat ominous. Good night to one and all. Good night to one and all. <laughs> Kinda creepy. That's the episode. That was a pretty crazy episode. Everyone's really going crazy for this serial killer thing. This definitely got way bigger than McNulty ever thought. And I think that quote that Clay Davis said, no good deed goes unpunished. I think that was definitely foreshadowing McNulty because he had good intentions with all this, but I'd be kind of surprised if this doesn't backfire on him somehow, especially since he's not being very careful. Giving away a bunch of work hours to other cases and stuff is just going to lead to people being suspicious about him, I guess. And we don't seem that much closer to getting Marlo at all. All we have is these clocks, which is some sort of secret code, and we don't have Prez to crack the code anymore, so this is going to be tough. And we got more of the same from Omar this episode. Just really spreading the word, trying to get on Marlo's last nerves, really trying to bait him out. And now it seems like Omar's going to start taking out all his muscle. So that's going to be interesting to see who he gets to. But things are just really getting out of hand here. We got three more episodes to wrap this all up, and I'm excited to see how they do it. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.